When I did the Pepsi commercial, there was these two French guys mm. that did the comedy bit for the commercial. And uh, I thought it'd be great if they worked on the video. So they've come up with this idea. Now, this may or may not be the finished idea. We're in a club, smiley, shining, happy people. Then I walk in. Is that you? Yeah, and, <laughs> I'm, and I'm super sexy because I'm a pop star and that. Uh, and everybody wants to get with me. Um, oh, that's you. I spot the DJ. She's bloody gorgeous. So to get her attention, start dancing. <laughs> Rocking. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm doing all sorts of weird movements. <laughs> you can imagine all you that, can't. I'm with you. you yeah, I'm, there, I'm, there, I'm there. Still not got her attention, I decide to take my jacket off. And then I start dancing like John Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> but the DJ, not f***ing impressed, is she? So, take me top off. Throw it into the crowd. Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> then I undo my oh, thing. I've gone all the way <laughs> to your smalls. To my smalls. Yeah. And then she stops. She's amazed. Why is the girl amazed? Why is the DJ suddenly stopped? Because I've started to take my skin off. <laughs> <laughs> So I take the skin off, oh, God. and I'm dancing. <laughs> Just my muscles showing. <laughs> On my face. <laughs> and I throw pieces of my muscle into the audience, <laughs> and the girls grab at it. <laughs> like so. <laughs> then I start taking my muscles off. <laughs> and going down to my bones. <laughs> Then, I'm a skeleton. <laughs>this is the idea uh, for Robbie's video. It starts off, Robbie comes up out of this hole into the Robbie Dome, which is a, a roller skating disco full of 50 roller skating um, young ladies. The original brief was for a 360 degree space which most of the walls were made up with loudspeakers and we built it on the stage for six days. It's approximately 50 feet across and it's about 22 feet tall and it's uh, made up of 18 eight foot panels in a circle. As Rob is delivered, because there's a button that says Robbie, and he's brought up as the next victim to, or the next gladiator or the next piece of meat, literally. And I thought if it was just all girls in there and he came up and like he was looking around and they were all skating, it's like Robbie heaven. And I also thought it would keep him there for three days amused, so. They divide into four gangs within the roller dome. Vaughan described that the girls would be in some kind of nightclub. It took me about two weeks, really, to, to think of the right thing that I, that I was able to do with so many people, because dressing 50 people can be a nightmare, really. We had to create some kind of impact with them. You know, if they'd all been really individual, it could have looked quite messy yeah, and quite all over the place. So I just thought it'd be easier for me to deal with, to divide them up into four groups. The first group was based on LA gang girls with all their gold jewellery, black sparkly bits on it which work really well when they're being filmed. The second group, Virgin Suicides group, really feminine, lots of pastel colours. The Warriors group, it's all based on like mesh and sportswear and stripes and it's quite a tough group where we put all the girls in that had the shorter hair. The final group was like the denim dollies. It's just like taking streety things that you know people wear and just making them a bit more sexy. Like the shorts are really short. It's all very, very sexy look. We were here for seven. 6.30. I was Six th well, yeah, but you're good going, you coming a bit earlier than I did. <laughs> and then we had 50 of them to get through. We had to sit down the day before and go through with the first AD and with Katie, the stylist. Well, I mean, what were we like? We had to get a calculator out to try and work out how many minutes each <laughs> model was going to take. Out. And that in the was end, really embarrassing, though. you know, when you try and be so organised on these things, I got a bag of makeup for every single makeup artist. And all the girls, they had different sort of looks that we did. You know, we, we tribal printing blocks, face paints, lip gloss. So I split everything into bags. Then we had to work out the slot times. So we got one group of girls in and half went to hair, half went to makeup. Then we had to try and cross over while some were in Carmen Rollers, some were... It didn't really work at all, did it? <laughs> it was like the generation game. <laughs>
Let's get the virgins back there. It originally started off as Robbie in a disco, and I thought, what could give it motion and movement and, and give it real energy? And I thought, I had the idea of a roller disco or a cross between that and rollerball, with Rob in the middle like a target. Roller skates with the four wheels are actually not very easily available anymore. <laughs> it created a problem for us to try and find them in the first place. Once I was happy that we'd found our 50 pairs, I was really, I liked the idea of them moving because part of the looks were created because of the movement of the girls. You know, like we wanted the high ponytails so that they would fly through the air and kept the hair long so it would all move around. I saw a bit of the casting tape and all these girls on their roller boots going up and down the road, you know, and seeing if they could skate. Some of them are really good. Good, really good, and some of them are a bit, you know, it's some a bit scary. Really <laughs> All right, this will be number two. Matt, you can step down now. Thank you. Have you got your undies on? Arlene here with us yet? Uh, Mark, are you here? Yeah. So we can see what it looks like? Boys, Five, six. Quickly, smallest ones on the inside, ladies. Coming closer, look onto this line. We're going to warm them up now, so you can stay if you want to, or you can do whatever you want. Think stay. Will you? Yeah. I know why. I like it here. Feels like, it feels like my house on a Saturday. Okay, we'll drop that down now. Here we go. Everybody up, please. Everybody on your marks, let's do it. What a joyous day. You're going to move a share to me, huh? How much? Probably. Uh, okay. Would you like to get out of here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't know. I think it looks great. I think we should shoot. That's good. These girls are getting into it. More music, louder, more fun! Come on, play back! Show, kicking with your torso Boys getting high and the girls even more so Wave your hands if you're not with a man Can I kick it? Yes you can! Don't smile, whatever you do, don't smile If you look at him, just completely ignore him The thing is, I want to also be able to do something that's very symmetrical, you know. Where Joseph Yako, uh, he lit the, all the George Michael stuff, the, um, Fast Love and that, that I shot. I don't know what he does, I think he rubs the film on his chest at night in his bedroom and puts some sort of magic grease on it, because when it comes out, it's amazing. There's something special about it, and so we decided to bring him over, because it was going to be a bit of a special video, so we thought we'd better get a special bloke. Juan is trying to embarrass me. <laughs> After lunch, we're going to go into the wide setup, the wide shot, so I need uh, everybody that's not working uh, out of here and take your gear with you, please. Jerry is somebody I've worked with as long as Joseph. I've worked with Jerry for 10 years. He's got this sort of attitude that when the power goes down or when everybody's tired, Jerry just keeps it chugging along. He's ex-military and he's got this amazing mind that can just sort everything out and he's always thinking ahead. Girls, go outside, uh, get some air, sit there, right back there all the way. Mark's going to come and talk to you. It's all good news. Well, if you think he's getting close to me. No, he's not. He's got a lot in them yet. I want them to adore me. I have paid enough for the video. I think they should. <laughs> Let's get the golf cut in see what it looks like. You look pretty good. Oh, that's plenty fast, man. That's good. You didn't tell me they'd be taking my card apart. <laughs> At no point though should it be weak and um, wet. It should be strong, yeah? Lots of attitude. 
I'm Lauren Gold and I'm the DJ. I'm the object of his desire, so he's trying to get my attention and I've got to not be interested and he's standing there stripping in front of me and I'm not allowed to look, um, which is very, very difficult. And then come out? Yeah. Well, the set's like kind of like a disco, it's circular, and Rob's standing in the middle, and I'm kind of above everyone. Just be careful, it's not structurally sound. Yeah, that's nice. The story behind how I got a job. Um, we just met at a hotel. I was just having a drink with a friend. He came up, and we were just chatting. I vaguely remember him talking about it, saying, oh, I've got my video next week. Someone called the agency on Monday morning. I was like, oh, well, I actually met him the other night, and they were like, well, yeah, two and two, that's probably why. And I was like, oh. I don't say anything, but I think I've pulled. The man behind the camera thinks I'm cute. Dog, go to one, don't make me punish you. Show, kicking with your torso, boys getting high, and the girls even more so. Wave your hands if you're not with a man, can I kick it? Yes, you can. I got you got, we got everybody. I got the gift, gonna stick it in the goal. It's time to move your body. Aesthetics, well, these guys we met a few years ago, I hadn't worked with them a lot since then, but really got on well. We put them back in. I'm the prosthetic designer of the, uh, the video, which is going to turn Robbie into a, a skinned man. Now we've got the life cast, we're going to get a fiberglass out of this, and we'll then sculpt uh, the muscle structure over the top of the head and the whole body. Nice. You're doing great, Robbie. Want a bit more stuff, somebody? All right. There you go. Fantastic. And then uh, we'll produce that in a uh, foam latex, and it'll all be pieced together, piece by piece, which will take about three or four hours, onto his body, on the day, um, colour him all up, all the glistening reds and all the lovely kind of sinewy colours, and um, away he goes. Just because you're Robbie's mate, don't, don't get all like, you know, twitching. Does that mean with Robbie? Yeah, yeah, just because you're his best mate now. Sorry, here we go, yeah, mate. Yeah, then just fine. Please. Yeah, I know, all right, okay, I'll sorry that back. Just because I'm his sweet mate? Yeah. 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 Just because you're my special friend. <laughs>
Reach coming and in. One, two, three, action. Meet. Oh, yeah, kind of hold the best deal there. Hey, murder. Meet. And here, out of the mess of history. It's my bottom hurts. The action. Perfect. That's enough now. Scary. Yeah, is it? <laughs> so really? Okay. You can come right up and be ready to uh, grease them up right here. I got you right. under my skin. Yeah, but. With the prosthetics, it, because it was all real and live, we could just shoot live action all the time, and it was brilliant, because then it also gave Robbie that sort of incentive to do something new and fresh that he'd never done before, like when he was James Bond and like when he was the rock band. And so it, Robbie just became the video, like he always does. This is a motion capture rig. What it actually does is record uh, markers that we put on people. So wherever you put a marker, then you're going to get a measurement. What we'll do is record the, the data here, convert it into coordinates that we need to, to generate a skeleton. When the skeleton's been created, we'll send it to Clear, and Clear will convert that into a 3D animated model. So a big one going around the circle, and then one for that head where the skull comes up. What we're going to do is when he's lowered his head, we're going to take over in 3D. So when he brings his head back up, it'll be just a skeleton. They've also um, done a shot of Robbie spinning. So, because that'll be so fast, we can um, basically cheat a little bit, have bits of muscles sort of flying off, and you won't actually see the details too closely with enough sort of motion blur. Uh, well, what we've done is we've been working with the prosthetic people and uh, have used their model where they've reconstructed the, his anatomical uh, muscle groups reconstructed that in 3D in a uh, in computer generated model and, and from that we've applied a skeleton underneath which is all fitting to Robbie's proportions. So we're going to get a stick which is her, put it and just do whatever you want, we just do a load of stuff. We've got a, 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 a part marked out on it. You feel the plank of wood, you like all the other wood. <laughs> been working for about a month anyway, building the models, because uh, the skeleton had to be boosted. It was a bit too skinny and uh, sort of medical looking, so we've made it look a yeah. bit more cartoony. So no, normally you get a good couple of months for something like this, but you know, we're rushing through. So we're working on about just a week and a half from now. And we've got three animators on it now, from now to the end of the job. And two compositors. And two compositors. And this is 24-7, this is so right around the clock until we get it done. <laughs> I'm happy if you are, sir. I'm happy if you are. I'm happy if you are. That's a wrap! Thank you very much! Yeah. Can I go back to the hotel with you? <laughs> Just stand in the middle of the road, <laughs> waving people down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do, I'm a dick. Yes, we do that tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I thought we still got a pack of batches, the AA ones. Ten fifty cent, please. Just hold on a minute, I've got money in the car. Taxi. Cheers, mate. Anything else? Anything else? It's been not a bad week. Working on the muscle. Yeah. Should we go in the beer garden?